What are some of the common reasons for sterility test failures? First, if all the analytical procedures were performed correctly and all reagents and equipment used during the sterility test were sterile, then the hardest reality is that the product under test may be contaminated with microorganisms. <clears throat> this indicates that the product was adulterated during manufacturing. Then there are the alternative reasons for sterility test failures unrelated to the product. These reasons include poor laboratory practices and procedures that adulterate the product or the enrichment media during the testing of that product. More specifically, regarding the second reason, I would say that the lack of an effective sporocidal disinfection was not applied to the product containers or to the work surfaces within the testing hood or isolator. When one does not successfully destroy the viable microbes transferred onto the surface of the product containers before moving them to the testing hood or isolator, this may cause a false positive sterility test result. What does the USP Chapter 71 for sterility testing say about sterility test failures? <clears throat> the USP sterility test chapter has a section entitled Observation and Interpretation of Results. In this section, the authors of this chapter understood that the laboratory environment and procedures used to perform a sterility test may become compromised, causing a false positive result, not related to the actual product, as I had referred to earlier. This section states that the test may be considered invalid only if one or more of the four conditions are fulfilled. <clears throat> These conditions include, one, the data of the microbiological monitoring of the sterility testing facility show a fault. Two, a review of the testing procedure used during the test in question reveals a fault. Three, microbial growth is found in the negative control. And four, if the identity of the microorganisms isolated from the test is unequivocally related to the faults with respect to the material and or techniques used in conducting the sterility test procedure. How can a company effectively investigate a sterility test failure? My response to this question has multiple facets. The people chosen to perform the sterility test failure investigation should be subject matter experts in the field of microbiology. They need to have a thorough understanding of the necessary procedures and practices used during the sterility test. The investigative activities necessary to determine the laboratory root cause may require an extensive, in-depth environmental monitoring of the immediate work surface and surrounding laboratory environment. This may require many RODAC or swab samples of the work surfaces and personnel. A complete investigation will also require the performing analyst to make real-time records of activities that occurred during sample preparation and during the time of actual testing. Lastly, careful review is needed of the validation studies used to determine the suitability of the sporocidal solution to disinfect product containers and work area surfaces. It is much like being a detective reviewing the evidence after a crime scene. One needs to be thorough and intuitive.